Um, the other time I showed you how to make paste paper and we made beautiful designs on paper. Today I'm going to show you how to wrap the two covers of your book, the front cover and the back cover. Um, you need to have some cardboard like this, not brown corrugated cardboard like the kind that you find on a cardboard box because that's very bendable and your book won't hold up. This is just a piece of mat board. I bought it at the CCC bookstore. Um, if you have a tablet around the house, you could just use that. That would be fine. And in the lecture, which I hope you've read, I explained how you need to figure out the shape of your book, but then you need to cut a hinge so that the book will open. If you don't have the hinge, the book will not open. So the safest way to cut cardboard is to stand up, to lay it flat on a table with a metal straight edge and use an X-Acto knife. This is the safest way to do it so that you don't get hurt. If you do it sitting down, you might get hurt. So, okay. So see what I have is my book cover and my hinge. And you need two, of, two sets of this, one for the front cover and one for the back cover. If you forget the hinge or skip that step, your book won't open. It'll be very sad for you. So I'm going to set that down. Well, so what I have here is my paste paper and I pre-cut it just, just, so let's do it on the, just as a demonstration to show you that, um, the cardboard is going to be covered up until it looks like this and is covered up with the paper. So I pre-cut my, this is the size of my finished book. It's about seven and a half by seven and a half, roughly speaking. In case I wanted to double check my size, here's a sample of one of my pages and it looks like it's gonna be a good size for the cover. So I pre-cut it about, let's say an inch, inch and a half bigger all the way around and then I sliced off those corners as I showed you that doing that makes it fold a little bit neater. I also, you don't have to do this, but I like to draw a line around where I'm gonna put it so that when it's all sticky with glue, I can just set it right on there and I know where it goes. It also can be helpful if you pre-fold the four sides, because once they're all gluey again, it's a little bit hard. So, uh, Get your Elmer's glue, Elmer's glue and a little craft brush. I find that if you get your brush slightly wet before you start, just slightly wet, it seems to spread a little bit better, but okay, lots and lots of glue. Don't be stingy with your glue. You are going to cover every bit of this. This is the wrong side of your paper. Every bit of it with glue. Now, this is why you need to have newspapers down because it's gonna make a mess. I'm going to brush the glue. This is the way that you can do it so that you won't have any weird lumps. Oops, there's something over there. Okay. See, I'm, cut, I'm getting it all spread out, including all the way to the edges. I'm brushing it all the way to the edges. I don't do that, it won't stay glued, it'll pop off. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job with that. Now, I don't want my paper to get sticky, so I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a clean piece of newspaper over it. Now it won't get so sticky on my book. Okay. There's my cardboard. I'm going to place it where I drew the line. And I'm going to put my hinge on there too. The ideal space between the hinge and the book cover is about one finger width. But this is my second one. I already did one. And I wanna make sure they're the same size, same distance, cause I don't want my covers to be two different sizes. So I guess I need to scoot that in a little bit more. 
I'm using my, the, the first one, it doesn't matter, just make it. But the second one, you want them to match, right? You don't want one cover bigger than the other cover. Now I'm gonna just kind of like I'm wrapping a present, I'm gonna fold this over, smooth it. Get it inside this gap here too with your finger. Okay, I'll do the opposite side now. Smooth it down, just like you're wrapping a present. And again, I wanna get it in that little trough there, that little gap. Now, before I turn the other sides down, it's a little trick I've discovered. If you kinda of tuck that corner in with your finger a little bit, before you turn it in, you get a nicer corner. Okay. And now the other one, again, I'm just gonna take my fingernail and just kinda, just a little tuck there, almost like you're making a bed or something. There. I hope this turns out the same size as the other cover. Let's check. I have made books with two covers that were not the same size. If you do that, always just put the bigger one on top and then no one will notice. If you put the smaller one on top, the other one will hang out. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job. Let's see how that looks. Um, looks pretty good, okay. Now, this is the outside of my book and this is the inside. Well, that looks pretty ugly. So I took my other paper my other paste paper, or if you just bought wallpaper or wrapping paper or whatever you have of a contrasting kind, I cut it rectangle just a tiny bit smaller than my book. So measure your book and then cut this one just a tiny bit. That way you see it looks nice. It, it covers everything and you don't want it sticking out. So make it a tiny bit smaller. So let me show you how to... Same process, lots and lots and lots of glue. You really can't overdo it with the glue. But if you don't have enough, it won't stay and that's bad. Okay. I got a pencil or something under there. cleaner area here. I'm going to set this down and I want to put it just barely inside the edge of the cover. Move it down all the way around. If your hands are kind of yucky you might want to wipe them off. Now this this point here part here that follows is really important. You really 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 want to smooth it down. Spend quite a bit of time smoothing it down because you don't want it popping off in the middle of the night while you're asleep and then you get up in the morning and it's not on there very good so really really go to town with pushing it if you see any air bubbles push them out this hinge area I like to stick my finger in there and get it really defined Okay, and then on the outside you can see there's some air bubbles or glue blobs. And smooth and smooth and smooth. Get that hinge going. I might do it a little more, but somebody showed me this trick and I like it. You just take all four corners and dink them on the table. I don't know, it just helps them not poke out funny. Now you can see that. When I got my finished, when I had my finished book put together, I'll put a page in there so you can see how it works. That that hinge part in here, which by the way, this is where we're gonna do the binding. We'll do that next time. But the book does indeed open up. It's a beautiful cover, the beautiful inside. And my page is, my page is cut just a little bit smaller than the book because that's how the purpose of why you have a cover is to protect the pages. So pre-measure everything and double check, make that mock-up like I mentioned. And then the last step, when you're all done with this, 
is to take a piece of wax paper and wrap it like this so the glue doesn't get on stuff. And then stack a whole bunch of heavy books on it overnight. And then overnight it will dry very, very flat if you stack the books on it. If you just set it aside to dry, you might wake up in the morning and it's like a potato chip. So, okay, I hope that's helpful information and goodbye.